Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianca Photography and in collaboration with Greater Than Gatsby, we're proud to announce our new Innocence Collection 2. So today I'm going to be taking you through the workflow, the new workflow. And I already retouched this image, so I'm just going to go ahead and blow that up real quick. This was before my retouch. This is after my retouch, and I basically just used the flawless skin, some peachy, brightened up the eyes, sharpened up the eyes, like I always do. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into our new color bases. And for this image, I'm going to choose Hill Country color base. And you can see there what that does really is changing the colors of the leaves quite a bit, which I love on this image. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that at 100% because I'm liking how it's it's falling on this image. We're going to go down and I'm going to go ahead and select Lemon Head under our Artistic Enhancements. You can see what that does. It really brings up the highlights. It adds a little bit of pop of color. And I'm probably going to wind up using this Lemon Head on every image just because I love personally what that does to an image. And then I'm going to jump down and we're going to go into um, Candy Corn, which is Autumn Warmth. I'm going to go ahead and play that. And you can see again how that's changing the leaves of the image into a nice fall looking colors, a little bit more than what was originally there. I'm just going to go ahead and take my opacity down just a little bit. And I'm, I'm really liking this image really as is, but we're going to do a little bit more to it. Just give it a little bit more of a dreamy effect and a little bit more pop of color. So we're going to go down into the Fix the Greens brushes where you will see in here, there's a lot of things in here, but I'm going to go directly into the fall background colors and we have um, spring, summer, fall and winter. So if I click on fall background colors, you'll see the color palette um, come up and these are like really my favorite colors is why they're in here. So there's five colors in each of the um, background colors. So there's five in each summer, winter, spring, and fall. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Sangria. And I'm going to get my brush down to about 40%, I guess. And I'm just going to start painting on the Sangria, where I think I want that color to come through. So I'm going to paint it right in here, maybe a little bit in here. I'm going to go and grab my black brush because I know I just got some of this on her coat and I'm just going to go ahead and mask this off of my subject. So I know I went over just a little bit there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab eggplant. Again, I'm going to grab my white brush. Take my opacity down to about 40%. And I'm just going to paint in a little bit of this tone. So I'm just kind of tapping this in certain spots there. Um, and you can go on and on. I'm, I'm liking the way that this is looking as is. If I felt like the sangria may be a little bit too red, I'm just going to go ahead and take that opacity down a little bit. I could do the same thing with eggplant just to make it look a little bit more natural. Okay, and then we're going to go um, scroll down. We're going to go into our botanical blends, and I'm going to select pumpkin. And you can see um, in my previous video, I showed you how you will have foreground and background colors. So I'm just looking to use this on the foreground at this bottom part of the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and select in my color mask. And I'm going to go grab my black brush again. And this time I'm going to get my black brush really big at 100%. And I'm going to mask off a lot of that area because I don't want that gradient to go up onto my beautiful fall foliage. Whoops. So I'm just looking to keep this at the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And you'll have your velveteens. I'm not going to use a velveteen on this one, but I did use it in the previous video. And you also have your black and whites, which um, go ahead and use. try them all if you, if you love 
black and white conversions. But this edit is really just as simple as this. I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot of this. Flatten. And we can show you where we started and where we ended. So this is where we started. Whoops. And this is where we ended. Again, before and after. Before, after. So you can see you can really bring in those beautiful fall colors. Um, there was a lot more green and yellow than originally planned. So you can make that happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this set. Um, please visit www.greaterthangatsby.com to grab your copy. Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye.